Chuck Whitty, who worked in the security department of the ship, was on a routine patrol as he had been accustomed to for years. The calmness of the corridors was unsettling for him. Seeing the same corridors and the same scenery every day sometimes filled him with a sense of tedious duty. Well, these corridors are indeed long and empty. All we need is some music and a dance party, he thought. Even during duty, his sense of humor was his most prominent feature. The other crew members liked him, but sometimes his jokes could disturb them during serious tasks. At one point, he was heading towards the main control room of the ship and saw the captain waiting for him. Captain, Chuck, how did the routine patrol go? Perfect. Captain, the ship's condition is shining as brightly as I am. The captain greeted Chuck's humor with a slight smile but maintained his seriousness and continued his sentence. Everything seems fine, but we still need to be cautious. We are navigating in an unknown region and may encounter an unexpected situation. I understand, Captain. Chuck Witty is ready for any kind of danger. The captain appreciated his determination and smiled confidently at him. Then, carry on with your duty. We all expect you and the other crew members to be careful to keep us safe. Motivated by the captain's words, Chuck continued his patrol. During Chuck's patrol, he engaged in various conversations with other crew members. Hey, Pete, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I usually have a protein bar in the mornings, Chuck. It keeps you fit during space travel. A protein bar? That sounds dull, Pete. Well, maybe a bit, but it's important to eat healthily in space. True, but sometimes you need some color. Maybe one day there will be a pizza delivery service in space. Maybe I should consider a business plan in this sector. Pete, ha ha ha, you crack me up, buddy. We soldiers are the only ones in this part of space, and the soldiers of other alien races are a bit farther away, sorry, but those damn aliens don't eat pizza. I think you should stick to being a soldier, my friend. You don't seem to understand much about trade. Chuck smiled at Pete's response. Yeah, you're right, Pete. Trading doesn't seem to be my thing. As the ship continued its routine patrol, unexpectedly, another ship appeared on the ship's radar. All systems on the ship were normal, but the identity of this ship was unknown, and why it was silently standing still was not known. This situation caused unease among the crew. Chuck. Well, folks, it looks like things are about to get exciting. Maybe aliens are paying us a surprise visit. I think we should be prepared to welcome them. He reported to the captain. Captain, this is Chuck. We have detected a ship on our radar, and its identity is unknown. It is standing still, and we are unaware of its intentions. What should we do to evaluate the situation and take precautions if necessary? After receiving the report, the captain left the ship's command center and came to the crew immediately. We need to understand why this ship has stopped here. Crew, check the communication networks. Perhaps the communication systems on the abandoned ship are offline. At the same time, we can better evaluate the situation by approaching the ship. While the crew checked the communication equipment, they continued to approach the ship. As they approached the abandoned ship, the silence and stillness on board became more pronounced. The doors were open, the lights were off, and there was no sign of life on the ship. Chuck said, Captain, there seems to be no sign of life on the ship. Perhaps a bad incident occurred here. He nodded seriously and decided to approach the ship with his crew to examine the situation more closely. They put on their operation armor and began to move towards the spacecraft, ready and alert. As the crew approached the abandoned ship, their tension increased. At every step, the silence of the ship made them even more anxious. They approached the ship and parked their own ship's docking port to the other ship in space. The door mechanism was set up, and they slowly began to enter the ship. There was no sign of life or activity. The corridors were empty, the rooms were silent, and there was no trace or clue. Complete silence prevailed on the ship. They split into two groups to conduct a comprehensive scan, using the light from their weapons to scan the surroundings. The absence of any damage on the ship made the crew even more nervous. Chuck was in the group separated by the captain. While the other crew members were performing their duties seriously, Chuck was whistling in the corridor, making sentences like, Hey, is anyone here? To entertain himself. 
While the other crew members told him to be quiet, Jonas from the first group radioed, saying they had discovered a mysterious object in a room, inside a black triangle, emitting a strange blue light, and they were in the electrical room of the ship. While the second group was trying to quickly move towards them with the lights of their weapons, suddenly all the lights in the corridor turned on. As they looked at each other in astonishment, Chuck, who was a bit ahead of the crew, had lowered a magnificent lever he randomly saw on the left side of the corridor and turned on the lights, leaning against it and giving a cool look to the other members. All crew members stopped for three seconds and looked at him strangely before quickly continuing on their way, passing Chuck. Chuck shouted after them, You're welcome, sarcastically. Finally, the entire crew reached the electrical room. Pete examined the object and tried to understand what it was when suddenly the ship shook. It was quite a strong tremor. As the ship continued to tremble, the triangular object began to shine even more. Pete, with a worried expression, turned to the captain. Captain, we felt a tremor on the ship. Could there be any danger? The captain, suddenly losing his concentration, replied, This tremor may indicate that the ship is starting to move uncontrollably. Find the control room immediately. As the crew hurried to find the ship's control room, trying to understand why the ship was moving uncontrollably, suddenly a bright beam of light appeared in space outside the ship. This beam of light began to rotate around the ship, enveloping it distinctly. It was as if a light was swallowing the ship into darkness. The entire crew was in chaos trying to figure out the situation. Chuck's eyes sparkled with amazement, and he exclaimed excitedly, Look! There! The beam of light around the ship. I think it's taking us to another cursed dimension or the depths of space. His shouting overshadowed the voices around, and for a moment, everyone fell silent, and a deep silence fell. Chuck muttered to himself, nobody understanding anything. Then suddenly he started running. As the entire beam of light was about to engulf the ship, the surroundings became darker as the ship became darker. Chuck disappeared from sight, and all the crew members were looking at the blue object in the shape of a triangle, which seemed to be about to explode. Everyone was trying to understand what was happening and to stay calm. While all this chaos was happening, suddenly all the lights went out, it was pitch black all around. Pete. This object is no longer glowing, and the beam of light has disappeared. I think we've been transported to another dimension, he said. The captain, in a worried manner, told the entire crew to stay calm, not to separate from each other, and turned his head slowly towards the light approaching from a distance, which was growing larger and swaying from side to side. The captain yelled at the crew to take their weapons and aim towards the light in the darkness. The entire crew aimed their weapons towards the light in the darkness. As they waited tensely, a voice rose. Hey guys, I think I figured it out, someone said. It was Chuck's sarcastic voice. Recognizing the voice, they all touched their weapons lights to turn them on. Everyone's weapon light turned on one by one because Chuck had turned on the ship's lights and energy source when he approached it. The concern of the situation made them forget about the lights. They thought they were in another dimension. Turning to Captain Chuck, he said, Did you figure it out? Chuck continued talking. That cursed lever we thought was just a light trigger must be triggering some kind of energy. Friends, we've experienced all this just because of it. We're not going anywhere. I just turned off the energy, he said, laughing. The captain and the crew gave Chuck a look of cursing. Even in this situation, they were angry at his laughter and jokingly said goodbye to their own ships. Chuck, who was left behind, shouted loudly to them, making his last joke in the adventure, You're welcome! 